Hey there, listeners. This is Brad Shruffler. You may know me from the Planning Period podcast or from my blog, bradshruffler.com. I wanted to talk a little bit today about something I created and wanted to share out. And this is the ability to have automated emails go out to anyone who uses your Google appointment calendar. A lot of people know that the Google appointment calendar is a really powerful tool to let you sign up and have people uh, pick a time to meet with you. But one of the things I felt was really limited was the ability to send a follow-up after an appointment has happened. I really wanted my my people to be able to schedule an appointment with me and then after the fact, get an email that said, hey, thanks for doing that. Also, take this quick survey to make sure I met your needs and that I can give you any follow-up issues you may have and meet with those. So the way I did this is I built a VBS script on the back end of Google Sheets to combine all these things together and send that follow-up email takes a few steps to get it set up, so I wanted to walk you through some of the steps here in this video in case you didn't want to read the blog post. So to get started, you need to have a copy of the actual form that I used and created. The best way to get to that is going to be going to tinyurl.com. Again, that's tinyurl.com slash Treffler calendar emailer. That's gonna take you straight there. I've also put the link in the notes and the link is available on my blog as well. But if you wanna just be able to type it out while you watch this, it's tinyurl.com slash Schreffler calendar emailer. When you do that, it's gonna send you straight to the page to go ahead and make a copy of that sheet because you're gonna need this actual calendar sheet, this Google sheet to make this whole thing work. So you go ahead and click make a copy and that'll give you a copy in your own Google Drive. If you want, you can go ahead and remove the copy of part at the top. You can even rename the file if you want to. It doesn't really matter, but you can if you want to. So you just really don't want it to say copy of. You can take that out. The other parts we're going to need for this, we're also going to need to be able to uh, have a survey. So we're going to want to build a survey for them that gives you gets you feedback. You'll notice on my survey, I just want their name. What was the purpose of why we met? Simple yes or no, was I able to help them? Scale of one to five, follow up and additional comments. Those are my questions. You can of course pick your own if you want. Another really critical part here, we need this survey to collect email addresses. So we go to setting and we go ahead and click email addresses. I'll explain why in just a second, but right now we wanna make sure we have collect email addresses turned on. Next step we're gonna need to set up is go to the responses tab and we need to create the spreadsheet that's gonna show us our responses. So you'll click this green button right here. That will confirm that you wanna create the spreadsheet that views responses. You can name that whatever you want, doesn't really matter. And you're gonna have that responses spreadsheet as well. So we need all three of these parts available to us. And you'll notice the best thing I found is just have all three opened in new tabs, makes things pretty simple for you, okay? Now, once you've made that copy and it's been loaded into your Google Drive, this is what that's gonna look like. This first page here is the setup page. This is where you're gonna set up all the details that you need so that the code can all run itself correctly. You're gonna set up what you called the appointment slot. So in my case, all my appointment slots are called instructional appointment, and then it has the period number they're signing up for, but all of them say instructional appointment. You can name yours something else if you want. You can name yours coaching call. You can name yours whatever, as long as that's unique and those are all the events that it's gonna pull from your calendar. Because what this is gonna do is search your calendar and pull any events that match that search term. You also wanna make sure your email address is listed here. You're gonna set the title, the subject line of the email, the salutation. This will be followed by their name. So for example, mine would say, good afternoon, person one. You're gonna put the text you want to have go before the link, the email text for the link, what will show up, where that link is gonna go to, and then your salutation, so whatever comes after the link. It also sends a reminder if they haven't filled the form out in three days, and that is all this information here repeated again. We're gonna come back to a couple of these links in just a second. So the first thing we wanna do, we wanna set up these links. So this link here, you'll notice the email link, that's the link to the form. So we need to get that link. We'll go here to the form we created, we'll hit the send button, we'll get the link from right here, I like to make it shorter just because it's a little bit easier to manage. Copy that to our clipboard. If you want, you can do right click, copy. And then we're gonna paste that into this line right here. So we'll paste it there, and we'll paste it again on this one right here. We wanna make sure these two links are the same. 
If they don't go to the same link, it's not going to work for us, okay? Next, we need the URL for this feedback. So remember over here, we clicked view feedback and created the Google Sheet for that. We need the URL for this feedback survey right here. And that's literally just this part right here. So we can take this, copy that from our URL bar right there. And we'll go ahead and paste that onto this section right here. That's the setup of the actual Google form itself. Now, one last step on the Google form, we're gonna to go to form responses. You'll notice in cell A1, it gives me a reference error. If I go ahead and hover over that, I click allow access, and now it'll connect that. I only have to do that once. Last thing to do on here. The last step we're gonna do is go ahead and set up the automation so that the program will run every day and update the code. To get to that, we're gonna hit Tools, and we're gonna to go to Script Editor. We're gonna click on Script Editor. That will open up the actual code itself. If you want, you can look through this code. It sort of explains what it's doing. It's pulling the information from the various parts of the uh, spreadsheet, and then the second part, the send emails, will go ahead and automate the an email itself, adding all the parts together so that it'll actually send out the email on your behalf. And then our last step, we're going to hit this little button here, the triggers button. We're going to go ahead and add a trigger for import calendar. We want that to be done daily. And we're gonna put that to whatever the end part of your day is. So if your day ends at four o'clock, for example, you might put four to 5 p.m. is when you want that to import the calendar. You also need to add a second trigger for the send emails component. That's also gonna be done daily. And you wanna put this at the time slot right after the one you just chose. So let's say five to six. So we have import calendar from four to five and then send the actual emails from five to six. Hit save. It should ask you if you want to go ahead and authorize. Once you authorize everything, you're good to go and you're all set. If you guys have any questions, of course, feel free to comment here on this video. Go ahead and hit me up on Twitter. I'm at Brad Schreffler or over at my blog, bradschreffler.com. Hope you guys enjoyed.